Hi, my name's Eric with VBA How To. I hope you're doing well. This is another VBA tutorial tidbit, and it's uh, we're talking about a customized, customized VBA message box to get you out of the ordinary message box that VBA provides, or that you could display in VBA. And again, if you want to see all the tips coming out to the site, vbahowto.com. And make sure also that you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification to be made aware of any videos I release when I release them. Okay, so the first, I'm going to show you a two ways of doing this mess box. Really, really cool to get you out of the, uh, the really soup up your application. Um, here's just a basic message box and again these examples are at vbahowto.com uh, this particular one bang I'm just running it VBA how to this is plain text plain text now uh, now if you notice if you remember that the uh, just a normal VBA message box that you'll get when you, when you run these you don't get to put rich text like red fonts and stuff so here you want to kick it up a notch or a lot of notches uh we have here the best vba tutorials at and this is in uh this is in bold text this is in uh red tags underlined so you mark these up just with um no they're not <laughs> Okay, well, I had big differ. This one is also yes. Yes, I agree. Okay, so here, let me show you the the the, uh, the examples here. Here I have just in, really, there's not a lot you could do with this. Uh, if you're an HTML scholar, uh, you kind of got to kind of have to scale them down a bit. Uh, we have the divs and the div tag we have make make this bold font size it doesn't respond to headings headings or h1 tags we have font tag size three uh, we open and close our tags we have underline tags a u uh, and the font is red vb how to again this code is add vb how to dot com and then here's my hide color. I'm hiding this just because there's a there's a little bit of a, there's a little bit, when I run this on the on the side here I have to I have to add ad lib some stuff and just add to it but it's all good. I mean with H, HTML I can really uh, really fix it. I uh, really make it look good. So and this. It's just run from a module. You could run it for any form. Uh, we have just a basic form on here. Basic little form we see. Uh, message box dialog. It's just a basic, basic little form. Um, when you get the the regular message box, VBA message box, it's uh, it's custom in the API. Okay, comes with the API. Here we're just using a regular access form, but behind that form, there's a lot of code. Okay, there's a lot of code, and again, you can get this. You can get all the code here, so you don't have to write it yourself at vbhowto.com. And the API metrics is a module. Okay, a lot of a lot of code here, and we have a dialog. This is the main thing. Because notice how I'm calling calling dialog dot box. Well, here's we have a, a module and all these little properties methods are in there. It's all stored on in the dialog module. Okay, see and you can customize this if you want, but here's the code for the rich text box. Here's the code for the plain box. And all of our properties and stuff, so it's all good. And then we're going to run it. We've run it from from this point right here. So that is how you do a customized message box in VBA using this form. Again, you can get the code at vbahowto.com. 
Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and be notified of any videos I release when I release them. Have a good rest of the day.